I'm back. Rodrance for the Black and White Network, and I am doing a follow-up video to the BLM activist that took a shot, or multiple shots, at Craig Greenberg, which was a Jewish Democrat um, mayor candidate in Louisville, and I've got a follow-up, and um, you're going to believe this. I was going to say you won't believe this, but when it comes to the BLM, um, I mean, I'm not sure anything... Uh, would surprise a lot of people anymore. The levels of disgusting, disgusting um, leaps and bounds they'll go to to prove exactly how much they condone people that commit criminal acts, in my opinion, allegedly, as, um, as we always have to do, allegedly, YouTube. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this, this turd got bailed out by the BLM. That's right, Quintez Brown, BLM Louisville, bail fund team up to post bail for shooting suspect. Black Lives Matter Louisville reportedly teamed up with Louisville Community Bail Fund to post bail for Quintez Brown, the suspect in the shooting of mayor candidate Craig Greenberg. By the way, I'm not exactly sure... Why this might not be considered a potential hate crime? I, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I think you might have some potential grounds for that, but I don't know. BLM Louisville reportedly delivered the Louisville Community Bell Funds check posting Brown's bell on Wednesday, a day after reports that Brown allegedly tried to assassinate Greenbird at the candidate campaign headquarters in Butchersville, Kentucky. Wow. BLM Louisville and Louisville Community Bell Fund did not immediately respond. I'm sure they didn't to Fox News. Just spoke to at BLM Louisville. They are heading to the bank to get a cashier's check to post Quintez Brown's bail. Brown is charged with the attempted murder for allegedly shooting at mayor candidate at Run With Craig. Wow. Local media reported Wednesday that organizations were posting bail for Brown with BLM Louisville organizer Chantel Hem saying the bail fund would shell out the $100,000 posting. Quintez Bell was posted Wednesday afternoon with the individual paying the bell wearing a, quote, free Angela Davis shirt, referencing the activist and former Communist Party USA member Brown, 21, was charged with attempted murder and four counts of wanton endangerment after he entered Greenberg's campaign headquarters in Butchertown and fired multiple shots using a 9mm Glock handgun, police said. Nobody was hurt, but Greenberg's shirt was grazed by a bullet. Greenberg is white and a Jewish Democrat. Uh, again, I mean... Are the reasons why this couldn't be considered a hate crime? I'm not sure what they would be. Uh, police have not provided details about the possible motive for the shooting, but said they are looking at all angles. And you got to be careful here. You know, they're, they're talking about, and I've seen this, uh, things involving mental health and, and other things that they might use to try to explain away this violent act. Brown previously worked for the Louisville Courant-Journal, as an intern and editorial columnist and communist, <laughs> he shared a short campaign video on Twitter in December. By the way, this guy was um, named one of the uh, shining, bright, brave, stunning, and courageous by Obama's group a few years ago. That's right. That Obama. Does this surprise you? This all seemed to start... Uh, particularly in the second term of the Obama administration, some of these more radical ways of thinking was starting to really percolate. And, of course, they hit full steam ahead with the emergence of the squad and Black Lives Matter and Antifa, and the list goes on and on and on. Wow. Wow. So one of their own, the BLM, and um, I'm going to tell you what, what I want to point out here. Do you notice they haven't come out and, and de-affiliated themselves away from this guy, even though he shot at a mayor's uh, a mayor 
a potential mayor candidate, not only did they not sort of get themselves uh, pulled back from this guy, they went and bailed him out. Now, you know, far be it for me to uh, point out the fact that if something else happens involving this guy while he's out, wouldn't this be even further on the BLM to take some responsibility, most certainly take some heat for this? Wow. It's a radical group, folks. It is a radical group. And, um, man, be careful. The kinds of people you potentially vote in office, this guy had political aspirations. I mean, my God, you need a guy like this holding any kind of political office like we need a hole in the head. And uh, watch the wording, no pun intended, for a guy that just shot at another guy. Jesus. The BLM bailed this no good rat fuck out of jail. (laughs) I mean, you can't make this shit up, guys. You can't make it up. I saw this and I literally like I almost broke a leg getting over to my laptop to be able to pull this up and make a video because I was like, oh, hell, anything I can do to further expose the corruption And the just sheer lawlessness of this bullshit group, I will do it. I mean, I I still believe it was started as a scam and a con artist, and you got a bunch of criminals that filtered into it, and they just decided to run amok across the country. Christ. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. (laughs) 